and I am absolutely, absolutely <laughs> obsessed with. Wow. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. I love my dog. <laughs> Good morning, friends. I hope you're doing well. Um, an interesting way to start off the vlog, but I hope that these um, healing moments are helpful to you guys. It really, really helped me last night, put me in a better headspace before I went to bed, making it more encouraging for me to work through these traumas. So I just wanted to share with you before I go about my day today, um, what I ended up writing about last night. The trauma that I'm working through is very relationship based. There are levels to healing things. So the first level is to um, apologize and forgive the person that you didn't receive love from in the way that you wanted. And the second part of it is to apologize to yourself and forgive yourself for looking for that love outwards instead of looking for it within. And um, I just went ape shit with it, you guys. I started out by writing this person um, a letter to sort of apologize and forgive them. And then I pulled a tarot card from my fountain tarot deck. You guys know this is one of my favorites. It is linked down below if you want one for yourself. I asked, how do I forgive? And I pulled a card and got some answers with that. Then I went and wrote myself a letter to forgive myself and apologize for um, not finding the love that I was looking for within me and looking for it within somebody else. So I wrote myself a little letter and this one was a lot harder to do. I wrote a little bit and then I ended up pulling a card and I asked, how do I love myself? And I pulled a card and it showed me ways that I was not loving myself. I guess the quality of love that I was giving myself, which was definitely not a great, it wasn't like a good level of love. It was definitely like, you have a lot of work to do. So. I wrote all about the card and then I just started doing a stream of consciousness. I think it was extremely, extremely helpful. So I am going to put prompts up for this kind of shadow work, relationship healing shadow work um, on my website, tayluna.com. I will leave the link down below. The strings, everything's free. It's just on the website. I will be putting a lot of healing prompts on there for relationship sort of shadow work. And I will continue to add to the list as I come up with more. So I hope you find that helpful. Hi my love. So I took a really long bath <laughs> it's probably in there for over an hour and now I am actually working on setting up a little website yeah so I'm going to be putting um, all of the prompts that I came up with all of the um, tarot card spreads that I came up with for this heart chakra healing that I started last night I'm gonna throw it all on my website I post all of this on my Instagram story so go and follow me there so you can get first dibs on all of these things eventually we're going to make it through all of the chakras but I'm gonna kind of do it as I do it internally myself um, I think it'll be the most genuine that way and you will get the most out of it that way because 
I am also present in this energy with you. So in this vlog, we're going to be doing some Halloween things and I'm really excited about that. In my last vlog last week, which I will link in the cards right there for you if you want to watch it, um, we started decorating for Halloween just a little bit and I ended up getting a few extra decorations from Goodwill um, because that's my safe place. I want to show you my whole Halloween altar and I do want to set up a fun crystal grid and I want to go over some good crystals for protection with you guys. This is the time of the year where the veil is very thin. This is a very sensitive time for empaths, anybody that is working with energy, anybody that is working with their third eye and opening that. Um, this can be a very potent time, I guess I could say. And I want to make sure that, is this even focused? Bruh. Sorry, you guys. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you're excited. And let me know in the comments down below if you have any fun crystals that you like to work with either for protection or just for Halloween in general. I would love to know what you, what you like to practice with. So yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear it. So I never am wearing glasses on here. I'm sure that's really weird. They're just like those blue light glasses because I've been on my computer all day. Why is this not focusing? Hi! <laughs> I kind of fell down a wormhole uh, once I finished my stuff on my working on my website I transferred over to my college work and there was a really fun lecture about branding with my professors so I watched that now I'm studying my Eastern art class stuff we're studying about Buddhism and how it literally moved all around the world and the influence that that had on the art that was created. I'm sure you guys have seen many different Buddha statues and they look very different depending on what sort of influence they have. If they came from India, if they came from China, if they came from um, Pakistan, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. I just wanted to show you this piece um, that I am looking at right now because I thought it was beautiful. This is the statue that I am kind of working through right now and studying a little bit. I'm gonna go through a couple of pictures for you because there we go. It is insanely gorgeous. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I wanna have it. <laughs> so um, you can see Buddha dated 338, so it's really freaking old. This is kind of the stuff that I am working on in my classes right now. Taking this class has been so fun, but I gotta say, it's like driving me crazy that I will never be able to like have and enjoy these art pieces because obviously they're like super old and they're all in museums and stuff like that. Oh my god, look at blue, you guys. So anytime I'm working at my desk, blue is always down here, just curled up. My baby, you're so sweet. Oh, I love him. I put a little like cushion over there for him and some toys, but he wants to be like right here and he's stealing my blanket right off of me. That's my baby. <laughs> Hello friends! Welcome to my Halloween altar. <laughs> I don't really know what's 
what's going on in my brain. I wanted to create a fun Halloween inspired crystal altar slash crystal grid. This probably isn't gonna be like a super legitimate crystal grid that you would activate and all of that. Really excited to kind of play with my crystals. It's been a while since I've done that and share with you some of my favorite crystals for this time of year for protection and for really tapping into the energies. Since the veil is thin, Halloween is coming. It is a good time to tap into the energies. I'm going to be starting the grid on this beautiful handmade custom crystal grid board that was made for me. Here's what we're working with. I have my grid here, some crystals that I picked out from around my house, more crystals, more crystals, and of course, this is my altar. I have a couple crystals chilling on here, and then I have this cute little altar bowl here full of my quartz point. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this gorgeous piece that Kelly made me and sent to me. I will link her Instagram down below. She is selling so many beautiful crystals, but it is this gorgeous labradorite skull. I wonder if I'll be able to get any like flashes. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. So pretty. She also gave me this beautiful, gigantic piece of amethyst and I am absolutely, absolutely <laughs> obsessed with it. It is so pretty. It's got all kinds of really pretty sparkles on the side here. Oh yes, oh yes. Definitely go check out her. I think she's selling them on Poshmark. I don't know why I'm standing like this. <laughs> she posts them on her Instagram all the time and I believe that she has a pos Poshmark shop. So I will link her down below. Please go give her some love. She is so knowledgeable about her crystals. And yeah, she, I learned something new from her like literally almost every day. <laughs> I adore, I adore her. If you're watching this, Kelly, I adore you. First things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> I think we should go through and pick out crystals. Where did I put that one? Okay, here it is. I don't have that many crystals on my shop anymore, but this baby has been on my shop for quite some time now. And I thought it would be perfect to put in this crystal grid. It's this adorable skull and it's got all these pretty points. I'm doing the beauty guru thing, you know? So pretty. So we're gonna be using that, but it is still available if you guys want to adopt it. I have these selenite towers, two of these like medium size and one of these little ones. I think selenite's really important for these grids because it is in, like the ultimate cleansing stone. So it will cleanse everything that's around it. And so I have this little tiger's eye tower and then this tumbled stone. I might have some more. Tiger's eye is really important to me. It is a very, very good protection stone as well um, it's very grounding for me and also I have a super deep connection with it because when my um, dog passed away a couple years ago I instantly gravitated towards tiger's eye because it looks just like her eyes it's very meaningful for me and I like to have that energy around me this is a good um, place for you to explore more ancestral energies so if you have stones that remind you of somebody or if somebody has given you stones that would be a good thing to incorporate in your crystal grid I believe these are called Apache's tears they're just these tiny little pieces I, I think these are gifted to me as well probably in a swap from like Madame Luna or something like that. I miss her, I love her. A bunch of clear quartz, some yellow calcite. This piece is so, so pretty. Why are you focusing on me? This isn't about me, this is about my stones. <laughs> See, I have to do the beauty guru thing. I have this really pretty shell holder thing <laughs> that I thrifted and I think I'm gonna grab snowflake obsidian and then in this guy oh here's another tiger's eye piece holla super tiny and cute we have a piece of carnelian a really pretty stone argonite this is a fun little like starburst piece yes I think this is another piece of like smoky citrine this one looks more natural. This is like a heat treated citrine. It's not a real citrine. It's he just heat treated amethyst, but I mean, it's all about the intention. We gonna use the as a tree, y'all. 
focus on that and if you really seem to connect with the citrine energy then think about investing in a real one um, they're just a lot more expensive and can be a little bit more difficult to find aha tons of quartz points in here tons of them i find a lot of quartz at goodwill selenite heart i think this is from jessica this is one of my first stones that i ever got this is a um, slice of agate and i really really love it so we'll probably incorporate that i have another piece of selenite can never ever ever have enough Ooh, smoky quartz is essential for a halloween grid so we are gonna keep that this is honey calcite it's very smooth to the touch i like that <laughs> another piece of carnelian this is a rough piece super pretty i love that one Ooh, this is titanium some sort of coated tourmaline i'm pretty sure but it's super super pretty it's got a lot of colors in it and I really, really like this piece. This is something that I really love to incorporate in grids like this. This is an ammonite, tiny little piece. I believe this is the only one that I have. This is a fossil, it's super old. <clears throat> this box right here, full of crystal goodness. Piece of calcite, which I love this kind of like chunk. The cut of this is super unique. I really like it. Ooh, some tangerine quartz. This is super pretty. I don't know if this is natural or if this was treated. I have like a whole collection. Wow, I'm so excited to do this with you guys. I hope that you guys do this too and like go through your crystals and kind of reconnect with them. This is really fun for me to do. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a quartz point. I can't remember what this is called. I have a haul of this. I bought this at a crystal gem show like years ago i have a haul i will link it for you guys um but at the very top of it it's like peach like right here it's really orangey i don't know how well that's gonna pick up but it's so gorgeous i have to go back and watch that vlog and remember what it's called i cannot remember for the life of me what it is that's the only thing when you guys everyone's always okay let's talk about this for a second you guys are always commenting on my crystal videos about how badly you want a bigger collection and um i totally understand that because i was the exact same way when i started getting into crystals i think it's like that when you start collecting or getting into anything like my mom is a big makeup geek so she just wanted to collect everything and the biggest piece of advice that i have for you is as you are starting your collection of crystals or anything um makeup <laughs> malas um oracle and tarot decks like literally anything spend so 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 much time really getting to know the pieces that you have before you have this wide collection and you kind of like start to forget about pieces or maybe you don't connect with pieces as much because you're just kind of overwhelmed like you have so many things to connect with and make meaning out of and it, it can be blah, you're gonna forget things and you're gonna forget about things so just spend a lot of time really getting to know your pieces um, i think the quality of the connection really is way more valuable than the quantity of your collection if that makes sense i should make a t-shirt that says that take luna merch <laughs> the last little thing we're gonna dig through is this little decorative piece i also did a diy with this so i will link that video for you guys it is a super fun way to store all of your like smaller um, tumbled stones that you can kind of lose very easily. Well, now that I've made a huge mess, <laughs> these are all of the crystals that we are going to be playing with for this grid. So this is what it currently looks like. Do, 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 do. It's pretty grid. Let's do this thing.
here is the final product. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks so nice. Here's a close up of the grid and all of its beautiful glory. Wow. I really like these three towers like that and I decided last minute to put this little sphere on top of the skeleton guy. I just love how this looks. It is so, so pretty. I'm so happy with it, you guys. I hope you love it too. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> it's more of a intentional decor piece for me, but if you want to set up and activate a crystal grid, that is super powerful and amazing as well to each their own. Um, but basically what I do with it now is I am going to cleanse all of the crystals with some sage and then also some Palo Santo. While I'm doing the sage, I'm going to set the intention of clearing any energy that is still reminiscing from anything with these crystals, releasing any energy that that may still be attached to them. And then as I do the Palo Santo, I'm going to be setting an intention for this grid. Um, what do I want to call in or protect myself from during the Halloween time? Yeah, I wanted to kind of clarify that this isn't like a traditional crystal grid. I like to, when I do these things, make it more of a meditative sort of decor piece. So this is a really fun thing to do to Oh shit. I really recommend you guys getting all up into your crystals and kind of getting in meditation mode and setting up a fun grid for yourself regardless of how intricate and detailed and traditional it is. Yeah, that is that. And I am going to check in with you guys once it gets a little bit darker outside so you can see what all of it looks like with the candles and everything like that. I think it looks way more majestic at nighttime. Hello friends. It is the next day. Blue thinks I'm talking to him. Planning on showing you guys the whole lit up altar at night kind of situation last night, but um, I ended up talking to my brother for a really long time who's away at school and just kind of taking care of my mental health. So I feel good today. I'm listening to um, Stephanie Sue's videos on YouTube. I don't know if you guys know who she is she does like mukbangs or mukbangs or whatever the fuck they're called <laughs> but she tells like thrillers and like crime stories during the mukbang and she's such a good storyteller so i'm listening to some of her scary creepy stories which is fun and i wanted to do a quick little haul of all of the goods that i have to put on my depop store today i have all of these things back here and then i thrifted this really cute um wicker situation recently it was like literally ten dollars so i have a lot of really fun goods in here and i'm going to just kind of run through them very quickly and show you what i got because i actually am really excited to list these things you guys are going to love them i have you on the literal sketchiest setup of my entire life so hopefully this doesn't fall i will try and do this quickly <laughs> so um i have this really cute like holiday wooden shelf you guys know i have a lot of display shelves that i put on at my depop store because i've said this a million times us hippies like really small trinket things crystals all of that goodness so these are so handy to have to organize all of your goods and make little altars on but this one's super cute it's like holiday inspired there's some little hooks on the bottom, so I really like this one. Then I got a wooden Kuan Yin, and I'm a little sad because her fingers broke off, but I still love her, and she's still beautiful, and it's gonna be just fine. Even her toe got a little chomp on it, but I still love it. It's still beautiful. I have some wood, like, crayons, like, that you can, um, when you have furniture and stuff, you can just kind of color the crayon in, and it matches the shade of wood so it doesn't look so bad so i might do that and see how it looks Ooh. this shelf is super cute it is a heart shelf <laughs> it is a heart shelf with these cute little bows with some shelves on it <laughs> and then there's this really pretty like painted detailing at the top that's super pretty so i really really like this it's gonna look real cute on one of y'all's rooms 
Yes! I love this piece so much. I almost didn't grab it, but I felt like I had to. It is this really cute teapot with um, a moon and like celestial details all around it. There's the sun right there. Oh, it's so freaking cute! I haven't done an official office tour yet, but it's coming. Behind my desk, I have these cute little pink shelves. I have those painted vinyl records and like all cute things back there. Well, I found those pink shelves from Goodwill. I found one and I had it for like a year. Didn't know what to do with the shelf, so I didn't really do anything with it. And then I randomly found two more, so I picked those up and then I put the three together in that little office design. I'll just put a clip of it up here so you know what I'm talking about. Well, I just found two more. Oh, just, <laughs> nice, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> I just found two more. They're really nice shelves and they have these super cute like gold hanging details at the bottom, which I really like. So I'm really excited about these and I want more. They're so cute. Okay, we're gonna move on. I'm talking about things for way too long. <laughs> Story of my life. There's another shelf. It's super pretty and bright blue and it has some really pretty um, designs carved on the inside and there's a bunch of hooks. So you can hang your jewelry or malas or whatever. I have like my crystals and my malas all hung up right back here. Something I recommend doing with your beautiful shelf so yeah i love that she's super pretty i don't usually grab gr what <laughs> i used to have a whole dream catcher wall in my room and so i used to grab them all the time and now i have so many to sell or just give away to you guys that i don't necessarily like to pick up more because i already have a bunch does this make sense you know but i found this one and i thought it was really pretty it's like gold and sparkly So I felt like I needed to put that on the shop. It's super pretty. I know a lot of you guys that do shop on my store love this stuff too, but it is a, can you see how ghetto my setup is for my camera? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look, it's on a basket. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is so beautiful. It is a storage box, completely glass. And then the bottom is the mirror. Um, it's lined with like green felt. The front is like almost stained glass vibes. It's like yellow all around. And then there are these real pressed flowers. Oh my God, it is such a gorgeous piece. You guys, it is so pretty. So yeah, the top opens and then you have storage. <laughs> in here so this is kind of a dream catcher e thing but i think i'm gonna try and fix it up before i list it super unique and pretty it's got lots of beads and this little um like button looking bead on it i don't know exactly what it's called get mayan calendar and they're so beautiful they say belize on the top there's a turtle and then a butterfly but other than that they're the exact same they're so beautiful, you guys. The detailing is absolutely insane. All of the designs are the same. So this is a Mayan calendar. How cool is that? Another storage box. I don't know if I shared this with you guys in a vlog, but I see these storage boxes literally all the time and I started to kind of refrain from grabbing them because I had so many listed on my shop and I wanted to kind of move those out before I got any more. But I decided instead of just selling the boxes themselves that I would start making little crystal kits out of them so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this one but I have one little box that's full of quartz points so it's like a miniature beginner grid box so it comes with the box and then I think like six crystal um, quartz points so if you're new to gridding then it's a perfect little set for you I also have another box that's full with chakra stones so you also again get the box and then seven chakra stones so they're perfect for beginners which a lot of you guys are and I want to keep them as affordable as possible I haven't decided what I'm gonna use this box for but it definitely will be a crystal kit of some kind maybe I could even put um, like a piece of sage or something in here, a piece, a bundle of sage in here and make it like a beginner cleansing kit with some selenite. So keep an eye on my Depop store if you wanna find out what I decide to do with these boxes. But yes, I have lots of beginner friendly kits on my shop. I will try and link some down below for you. I really liked this piece. It is just this like brass, 
plate, but it has a little hanging like tie on it so you can hang it on the wall and it's super pretty it's gold everything I like about a piece it's carved it's gold and it hangs on the wall it's like okay add to cart <laughs> it would look super gorgeous either hung up on a wall or um, used as decor in like a bookshelf or something like that then I have this is the last shelf I have in this little hall and you guys are always asking when I will get more of these shelves I don't find them all the time, but when I do find them, they go quickly. So if you want this, head over to the shop like ASAP. But it is this heart shelf, and it has a little peg so you can hang, you know, whatever you want on it. You could hang your robe or your malas or whatever. Um, ooh, that would be cute, like a little self-care shelf with like your robe or some cute like lingerie things, and then all of your like, body oils and um, your little rose quartz like face thing. Oh my God, that would be so cute. Anyway, I'm dreaming. So yes, a heart shelf. I love these. You guys love them too. Um, this one definitely was like previously loved a little bit too hard. <laughs> so there is a little like wear and tear on the top here but other than that it is in beautiful condition and from afar you don't even really notice that that's there um but yeah i really like these and you guys love them too so i promise i will pick them up every time i see them for you because i know you love them <laughs> okay this is such a score and I'm kind of sad that they don't fit me. They're just a little bit big on me and I tried to convince myself that I could keep them and wear them anyway, but I mean, they're too big. Like that's just, that's it. What? <laughs> They're so cute, you guys. So they're these adorable like loafer style shoes. There's like a tiny, tiny little heel, um, but they're so freaking cute. There's a little moon and stars and then a sun on there. Oh, they're just, they're so gorgeous. They are an eight and a half. So if you're an eight and a half, it's your lucky day. Very sad to see them go, but they need to be properly loved with somebody that has an eight and a half size foot <laughs> that's all of the goods i'm going to take a moment to listen to more stephanie sue's creepy videos and hopefully not get nightmares but knowing me i probably will but that's okay and take some pictures of this stuff and then um i really just want to show you guys the altar how it looks at night i will see you guys when it is a little bit darker so i can show you my altar and um yeah Check out my Depop, the link will be in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and getting to see some of my crystals because you guys I know you guys love crystal videos and I haven't done that many so I hope you guys really enjoyed this one I hope it inspires you to create a Halloween altar or Halloween crystal grid of your own I would love to see photos tag me on Instagram at Tayluna if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know subscribe down below if you haven't already and ring the little bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video so you don't miss it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you to the moon and back and i will see you soon